Update 2 on what is Tropical Storm Chan Ham here in the Western Pacific at 24.7 degrees north, 137 degrees east. This position estimate as of 6 p.m. UTC, the update as of 11 p.m. this October the 6th. Storm's current intensity estimate 65 miles per hour with a pressure of 980 millibars. It's expected to become a typhoon in short order here. It's moving west northwest at 10 miles per hour and is a CDPS stage 6 at this time, teetering on stage 7 with over 30 inches of rain possible in some of the Ryukyu Islands. So here it is at stage 6. Rainfall potential is major. Wind speed is going to be significant. Storm size will be significant as well. And the overall threat to land lands right in between significant and major. So again, that's a devastating impact possible by Chan Ham. A stage 6 on the CDPS scale. Um, a life-threatening situation indeed for those areas in Japan. The wind field has expanded significantly since the last time we looked at the storm earlier today at 1 a.m. UTC. You can see that wind field is much more symmetrical now, and the satellite appearance does reflect that as well. So how far away is the storm from certain areas? It's about 463 miles away from Umami. Um, from Naha, 533 miles away. From Kagoshima, 562. From Tokyo, 762. And from Taipei, 905 miles away. You can see there in those yellows, those are gale force watches. Uh, or advisories, as the JMA calls them. These are all areas that are basically under the equivalent of a tropical storm watch right now. So maximum sustained winds of 65 miles per hour have been run with by Force 13 in line with the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. It should be noted that satellite estimates, the AMSU, ADT, and SATCON all have a higher intensity for the storm. There is reason to believe it is at least 70 miles per hour. So here's our cone of uncertainty from earlier today, a 100 mile per hour peak is expected at about 60 hours out before the storm does make its turn and is expected to either make landfall in or parallel the coast of Japan as it does begin to weaken. Significant impacts are possible, again this is a stage 6 on the CDPS scale. You can see on the rainfall graphic here, significant rainfall is likely with widespread areas over 8 inches possible. You can see also those little areas of red and pink, those are more mountainous regions and isolated spots within the Ryukyu Islands in southern mainland Japan with well over 32 inches of rain expected by the h wharf although we don't know what the odds of that verifying are. GFS and Euro also showing over 30 inches of rain in some spots. Sea surface temperatures here you can see are looking quite nice at this time, uh, with the storm still really being in 28 to 29 degrees Celsius waters. So when it comes to the chances of tropical storm force winds, you can see there are the southern Ryukyu Islands, 80 to 90% for some of those areas, with over a 70% chance now in areas of mainland Japan. Jen to mainland Japan, Jen to central Japan there, you can see 40 to 50% chances stretching quite far north. When it comes to the chances of typhoon winds here, you can see there those hurricane force winds or typhoon force winds, 75 miles per hour and above. We are touching the 10 to 20% area as we do head into mainland Japan with near 20% as we do head into the southern Ryukyu Islands. So what's intensity guidance looking like? Well, it looks like general guidance is indicating a high-end cat 1 to low-end cat 2. Wind shear is expected to increase after the next couple of days, and sea surface temperatures as well as relative humidity are slowly going to be diving off. Therefore, the storm's favorability to intensify is going to slowly go away with time, so the rate at which it's intensifying now will gradually slow down. Well, here's a deep dive at the satellite imagery. Satellite is looking quite good on this. You can see three convective bursts orbiting the center of circulation right now at open northern side. Still, the storm is having to fight off a little bit of dry air. All right, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Here are your outlets. You can follow our outlets. First of all, the website, force13.com, with new articles coming out all the time for your reading pleasure about all things weather. YouTube.com forward slash Force 13 with our tropical weather bulletins, animations, and tropical updates. You can also find us on Facebook for more information on those things. And then also on Twitter, we have the U.S. branches and AU branches on there as well, but you can see the URL below. Teespring.com slash store slash Force 13. That's where you can find things like the Smug Mug to buy. And finally, the Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Force 13 where you can support the project and help it become even better.